Welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Vikas Misra and I'm presenting a course operating system. Uh, we have discussed uh, chapter deadlock. In deadlock, till now we have discussed deadlock avoidance technique. Today we will uh, discuss deadlock detection techniques and after that how to recover from deadlock. That means deadlock recovery schemes. Right. Uh, okay, if you want to download lecture PDFs, you can go to my website www.learningether.com. Okay, so for today's topic, we are going to start from deadlock detection techniques. Okay, now we see deadlock detection techniques. Fine, as we know that in our operating system, resources are of two types. First one is single instance and other one is multiple instance. What do you mean by single instance? Single instance means your resource is having only one, is, uh, one instance. Fine. Like your system is having only one printer. Okay. Printer is resource but instance is one. Fine. Okay. In multiple instance resource is printer and having more than one instances like more than one printers. Fine. So your system is having multiple resources with multiple stances. Fine. Okay. Now we will categorize our detection techniques in two types. First one, let's say your system is having resource which is having single instance. Then what will be the necessary and sufficient condition to detect deadlock? they ask question like that what is the necessary and sufficient condition to detect deadlock if your system is having resources of single instance fine so then now understand what is the detection technique okay the name is cycle cycle detection okay cycle detection in resource allocation graph I have discussed resource allocation graph in first lecture fine resource allocation graph this is a uh, sufficient and necessary condition sufficient and necessary condition Fine. Cycle detection means, let's see once again, uh, let's say your uh, process P1 is here, fine, and resource R1 is here, and R1 is having single instance only, okay, P1 has resource R1, that means resource R1 is allocated to this process P1, okay, P1 requires two resources, R1 and R2, to complete its execution. P1 has been allocated resource R1 but P2 is requesting for resource R2. Okay, P2 is requesting for resource R2. R2 is having only single instance. Sorry for that. Single instance. Fine. And there is process P2. Okay, process P2 is there. P2 has resource R2. Okay, but requesting for resource R1 okay so this is the situation where p1 and p2 want uh, resource r1 and r2 for its execution but problem is there r1 is allocated to p1 p1 is waiting for resource r2 r2 is allocated to p2 but p2 is waiting for the resource r1 so this is a raz okay this is a resource allocation graph in a system where processes are in the uh, cycle and they are waiting for each other to uh, release resource r1 or r2 fine so there is a cycle in resource allocation graph okay this is also called a deadlock situation if there is a cycle in resource allo allocation graph where resource is having only single instance Fine. So cycle detection that means deadlock is there. So this is the uh, deadlock detection technique. Now we will see second type of uh, systems where 
resources are having multiple instances okay resources are having multiple instances fine so what will be the necessary condition here cycle in resource allocation graph this will be the necessary condition but it will not be sufficient because if resources are having multiple instances then it can be possible that resources one resource is in cycle fine one instance of resource is in cycle but other instances not in others in cycle then what will happen uh, these other instances can be released by other processes uh, in future so what will happen your deadlock will be broken fine so cycle is yeah necessary condition but not sufficient because in near future this cycle can be broken by releasing any uh, instance of resource fine so this is the necessary condition but not sufficient so what will be the necessary and sufficient condition answer is bankers algorithm bankers algorithm if you want to learn about bankers algorithm you can go to my previous lecture where i have discussed this bankers algorithm which is nothing but deadlock avoidance technique fine what do you mean by this bankers algorithm okay if you are having resources okay and uh, by using this available okay currently available resources if you are able to if you are able to satisfy the remaining need of processes in the system then deadlock will be avoided fine if you are not able to satisfy the need of processes by using currently available resources then deadlock will be there fine so if you want to learn about bankers algorithm you can go to our previous lecture fine okay so this will be the necessary and sufficient conditions okay now these are the two techniques which is can be used in uh, system to detect this deadlock now we will see if your system is in deadlock now how to recover from from deadlock so there are three or four uh, ways so that you can recover from deadlock let's see first one is the killing a process killing a process means let's see our uh, system is in deadlock fine then there can be killing killing can be of two types two types of killing can be there fine first one is kill all the process which are involved in deadlock kill all the processes which are involved in deadlock this is a first way where if you can see that there are uh, four or five processes which are involved in deadlock then kill all the process killing all the process means release all the resources from the processes okay okay and second way is the kill one by one second way is kill one by one kill one by one on the basis of priority basis of priority see let's say uh, there are so many process which are involved in deadlock then try to kill that process first which is having least priority that means if you are killing that process no much effect on your system fine so start killing those processes in numbers which are having least priority first okay lowest priority process will go for the killing first okay basis first 
बेसिस इज प्रियोरिटी ओके सेकेंड बेसिस क्या हो सकता सेकेंड बेसिस सेकेंड बेसिस इज परसेंट ऑफ प्रोसेस ओके परसेंट ऑफ प्रोसेस कंप्लीशन ओके लेट सी वन प्रोसेस इज क्रिएट वन प्रोसेस इज कंप्लीटेड बाई नाइंटी परसेंट एंड अदर प्रोसेस इज कंप्लीटेड बाई फोर्टी परसेंट देन ट्राई टू किल दैट प्रोसेस विच इज कंप्लीटेड लीस्ट फाइन ओके सेकेंड प्रियोर सेकेंड बेसिस इज दिस एंड थर्ड बेसिस इज नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्स द प्रोसेस होल्डिंग लेट से प्रोसेस पी वन इज हैविंग टेन रिसोर्सेज एंड प्रोसेस पी टू इज हैविंग वन रिसोर्स देन ट्राई टू किल दैट प्रोसेस विच इज हैविंग मोर नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेज वॉट विल हैपन इफ यू आर किलिंग मोर नंबर रिसोर्सेज प्रोसेस देन आफ्टर किलिंग मोर नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेज विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर अदर प्रोसेसेस फाइन सो थर्ड नंबर इज नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेज द प्रोसेस होल्डिंग नंबर ऑफ द रिसोर्सेस नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेस द प्रोसेस होल्डिंग फाइन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज क्राइटेरिया यू विल ट्राई टू किल वन बाई वन फाइन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ डेडलॉक रिकवरी स्कीम किलिंग अ प्रोसेस फाइन टू टाइप्स आर देयर फर्स्ट वन इज किल ऑल द प्रोसेस विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन डेडलॉक और किल वन बाय वन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज प्रियोरिटी परसेंट ऑफ प्रोसेस कंप्लीशन और नंबर ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज द प्रोसेस होल्डिंग फाइन ओके नाउ सेकेंड वे इज रिसोर्स प्रियम्शन प्रियम द रिसोर्स फ्रॉम प्रोसेस दिस इज द सेकेंड वे लेट से योर प्रोसेस पी वन P2, P3 are in deadlock. Fine. Our P1, P2, P3 are in deadlock. Preempt. Preempt. Process. What does it mean? Means. release okay release sorry for that means release resources means release resources you can preempt processes in two ways like that uh, what we have discussed in previous is, uh, uh, scheme of killing the processes in two ways on the basis of first one is uh, priority on the basis of priority you can do that second one is uh, percent of completion fine and third one is number of resources the process holding fine so these are uh, these are the criterias on the basis of uh, these criterias you can preempt the pro processes which are involved in a deadlock so that deadlock can be uh the block can be uh, broken fine preemption means taking resources forcefully from processes you are preventing any process that means you are forcefully taking or releasing resources from that process okay third one is ostrich algorithm ostrich algorithm means ignore the deadlock enjoy the deadlock that means Uh, if deadlock is there, enjoy that deadlock, or ignore the deadlock and uh, try to do something else. Fine. So, ostrich algorithm is nothing but 
ignoring okay ignoring the deadlock fine ignoring the deadlock fine check safe state this is the fourth scheme where you can check safe state as i have told you that safe state is nothing but uh before allocating resources to the processes first check if we allocate resources to this process if there will be any deadlock okay so safe state is nothing but there is no deadlock in the process fine where we use this safe state we use this safe state check safe state in circular weight situation circular weight situation fine circular weight situation as uh, or you can say it is also a deadlock prevention technique as you know that if your system is in safe state that means there will be no deadlock in system what does it mean deadlock avoidance deadlock avoidance ensures what ensures that there will not be circular weight or cycle fine circular weight or cycle condition in system fine we are checking every time safe state of the system before allocating resources to the processes it means we are trying to avoid the deadlock if you are trying to avoid the deadlock deadlock avoidance ensures what that there will not be any cycle in the system and you know that for detection of deadlock there must be a cycle in the resource allocation graph fine that is the necessary condition and i am avoiding that cycle condition fine so these are the deadlock recovery scheme okay fine these are the deadlock recovery scheme and we have seen deadlock uh, detection schemes also fine so this is all for uh, this lecture now your deadlock detection deadlock chapter is over fine you can practice deadlock avoidance uh, algorithm bankers algorithm examples because in every exam they will try to give this type of questions fine thank you for the lecture